Welcome, guys. Welcome, Tony. Chosen. Eric, to design. How are you guys tonight? Alan, what's up? All right. Okay, guys. Good, that's good to hear. Let's try to get situated here real quick. All right. Do some sketching. Um, let's see. Uh, so what should I draw tonight, guys? <laughs> Lego. Oh, like I got a crackle brush. Change that. Comic cards. So I can um, I can draw a character, or um, I can show you guys how to do something. You guys got question? Oh, Solid Snake. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do Solid Snake. Um, let me uh, let me look up uh, some reference real quick. So I haven't really. Drawing them that much. Just give me a second. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yeah, that's a so that's uh that's funny. All right, I think I. Got it. Please draw Pluto or Scooby Doo with sunglasses. That's an interesting one. I don't know. Um, I might, uh, if I get through this uh, snake drawing real quick, um, I'll see if I can do uh, Scooby Doo. I like Scooby Doo. I actually drew Scooby-Doo not too long ago, like a couple months back. I, I did a Batman drawing with uh, Scooby-Doo. Um, it's like back in the day, they, uh, they would have like guest stars, and Batman was uh, Batman and Robin would guest star with them on those TV shows. So I was doing, uh, it was called Bat-tober. It's a, a uh, kind of... A, Batman theme month of um, of drawing uh, that uh, Chris Somney does, and I kind of jumped on that hashtag and participated in that this year. So it was uh, it was pretty cool. So right now I'm just blocking in the the, the head here. All uh, drawn start with a good foundation or scaffolding or whatever to hang your features off of and stuff. Uh, at least that's what Andrew Loomis says in his book, uh, his Head and Hands book. Yeah, that it was. Uh, it was very fun. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. I, I just uh, I just posted a, a new YouTube video um, with a time lapse of one of the. Hi, uh, Santiago. Um, I did a uh, a time lapse of uh, one of those uh, Bat-tober drawings, uh, um, and I posted it on YouTube today. It's like a two or three minute video. Um, with like some music going behind it so this is a little fun thing that I, I i try to post one of those videos every day um 
you know, if you, if you like, uh, hold on one second. If you like uh, seeing me draw and you want to watch uh, kind of, you know, the process, um, you know, you might be able to, uh, you know, get an idea of kind of the steps I go through um, by watching the video. The I have a link in, um, if you go to my bio, I have a link tree and that has my YouTube channel on it. And like I said, I try to post a video every day. Um, most of the time they're just time lapse videos. And, um, but I try to do, like I said, one, one once a day. And then sometimes, uh, if I have a little bit of a, if I have a little extra time, I'll do something more, um, in depth where I'll actually like talk and try to explain what, what's, what I'm doing. So... I mean, especially if somebody, uh, you know, sends me a question or whatever, I'll try to try to answer it. So if you guys have any, uh, you know, suggestions for videos or topics, please, uh, you know, s you can shoot them to me in a message, leave them in a, a, a comment on something, um, and I'll see it and I'll try to make a video or whatever. Uh, especially if it's like something that has to do with like, uh, teaching or learning or whatever, you know, so I want to put more content out there for people. Um, and you know, just kind of sh share the, the little bit of knowledge I do kind of know, you know, I think that's an, uh, that's important. Thanks, Dustin. Yeah. Cause like, you know, the, whenever I try to teach people things, um, or explain how to, do, how I do things, um, you know, it helps me to, uh, understand it better. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate that. Uh, Santiago says, what is the character more easy to draw for you? Um, well, it's probably easiest to draw, uh, like monster characters. So like, uh, like I did a Godzilla drawing the other day or what was it yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday. Um, any like monsters are usually pretty easy because, you know, you can't really tell if you're, uh, uh, thanks Sal. Um, I appreciate that. Um, you can't tell if you're messing up. You know, it's hard for... Uh, you know, like you can you can make mistakes and no one really will know otherwise. Yeah, Kong versus Godzilla. Yep, that's right. The bearded bug. I've been trying to learn more about sequential storytelling and put together my first mini comic. Any uh, tips that is a video I'd watch? Um, yeah, uh, I could I could try to do that. I mean, I'm not the best person to ask about uh, sequential storytelling because you know most of the stuff I do is is one offs. Um, I have done a little bit of you know I do a little bit of comics here and there. Um, but yeah, yeah, I can, uh, I, I just, I just did a comic, uh, over the holidays, um, and I have a bunch of footage, uh, and time-lapse material from that. Maybe I can put together kind of, uh, my thought process on, on that stuff. Um, let's see if I can put something together. You know, like I said, I, I don't do a lot of, uh, um, sequential stuff but I know a couple of things I guess um. 
Hey, man. So, I mean, as you can see, like, uh, a lot of my process is just, like, of... I guess it's, like, I'll... I'll I try to draw things on one layer. I don't do a lot of uh, layers and stuff. Um, have I drawn the Terminator? Yes, I have. I have drawn the Terminator. Um, not recently, though. Um, so maybe I'll... Uh, I can... I'll put that on the list because I, I like uh, I like Terminator. Great job, but is that a dog or a cat snoring in the, oh, that is a, that's a dog. That's my uh, pug. So he's kind of, he's got like a, a real bad snoring problem. And he just sleep he sleeps wherever the hell he wants. Yeah, it's all right. Uh. It's coming together. I, I'm not completely happy with it. I think he, I need to beef him up a little bit, maybe. You gotta make him look more pissed off. Kept us waiting, huh? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that, Tony. Did I miss? Did I miss something in the chat? Oh, <laughs> Metal Gear choke. You know, uh, I I never really played Metal Gear that much, unfortunately. I love the I love the artwork from it. Um, I I have a have an art book with uh, a lot of the concept art. Um. I just I just missed out on playing the game. I, I don't know. I was doing other stuff at that time in my life, I guess, and playing video games. Joe says he's the same way with Street Fighter. Never really played the game, but loved the art. Yeah, Street Fighter art is like the best. Like, um, like probably my favorite. My favorite uh, Street Fighter like artist, like concept artist, is Bangus. Um, uh, he's got a lot of different uh, uh, names that he goes by, but yeah, he, you know, he did like a lot of the designs uh, for the uh capcom um and marvel series uh back in the day um just really 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 cool stuff he needs more of a mullet
Thanks, Sid, for uh, saying hi to everybody. I appreciate that. Yeah, I love I love Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, too. Uh, Santiago says, in my case, uh, playing video games took me a lot of time to improve. Improve on drawing. Hmm. Thanks, Tony. Um. Thanks. It, it, it's it's okay. I mean, like you know, talking and drawing. It's um can be difficult. Like I I was uh I was drawing a um I did a Ken uh. I think on the last uh, live that I did, and um, I went back and I kind of touched them up. You know, there was like some some like uh, stuff I kind of missed in his face that I wanted to change a little bit. Let's see. Usually, usually when I do like these headshots, I try to put like a, I'll put like a hand in. Um, like so, I'd be holding a gun or something. It just kind of gives that, uh, gives the piece a little bit of something interesting to look at than just somebody with, uh, you know, instead of just their head. Highest dog, what's up? So let's see if I can. Rough this hand in. Draw this gun. See if I can fake a gun in. Bigger, so bigger. Joe says, Do you have a favorite Wolverine costume to draw? I like the Tiber Stripe costume from the 90s. Uh, I like, uh, that's the costume that I was introduced to Wolverine in, like from the cartoons and the, you know, the Jim Lee, uh, stuff. Um, I like the, the Wolverine with, uh, the, I guess, brown and, brown and yellow, brown and gold Wolverine. Like from the, that, that's my favorite costume. Thanks, I appreciate that. Um, I always, I always like, I like that version of Miss Marvel the best, or Captain Marvel, or I liked it when she was Ms. Marvel, or I liked her. Santiago says, uh, oh, Joe, uh, yeah, the Wolverine, uh, yep, 
That's the one I like. Uh, Santeo says, do you prefer digital or paper? Do you draw with a Pentel brush? Something like, or something like this. I, I prefer, uh, I prefer digital at the moment. Um, I, you know, originally like learned, um, you know, when I was beginning, I was uh, traditional always. And, and I was like, I'm never going to do digital. You know, I can't, I can't get into it, uh, or whatever. But, um, once I started to get used to, uh, the iPad, um, and this app procreate here, I just, I just never looked back. Um, uh, good shows I like to binge. Uh, yeah, I I just uh, watched. Uh, I've been watching a lot of anime, so I binged uh, Fire Force. Um, the uh, what other ones? Uh, I watched this one. It's called The Promised Neverland. That was a that was a fun one uh, or interesting show. Uh, good, cool, cool premise that that I. Uh, I didn't realize it was going to be like, um, so yeah, th those, oh, Demon Slayer, uh, I just binged that, uh, the Bearded Bug says, uh, do you customize this, uh, this is, um, this is a brush that I customized a little bit, um, it, it's called the Kniff number two brush. And I just kind of uh, messed with the settings a little bit. The I got the brush from um, I want to say it was a true uh, true grit texture supply. I think and I I think I got it in a, a one of their brush packs um, that they sell. Um, and then, like I said, I just uh, I just kind of uh, customized it a little bit to my liking. And, and it, uh, this feels the most, uh, to me, this, this brush feels the most like, uh, like a traditional, like a Pentel pocket brush, which is the, which was, which is my favorite, um, or was my, one of my favorite, like traditional, uh, uh, tools to use. Um, cause I was uh, like, when I first try started to, to try to ink things, um, I started with tech pens because you know like tech pens are don't seem as in, don't seem very intimidating you know it's just like a like a pen there's you know, um you know you put it down you can kind of feel feel the pressure and it's uh you know a little bit more natural i guess but um as i got uh more experienced i realized and, and i you know tried different things i realized that i actually liked uh brush pens better um they kind of um I would say uh, work better with uh, the way I draw, which is um, like really like kind of like, I don't know, gestural or uh, like messy almost. Um, I don't, um, yeah, that, that's how I would describe it. I'm. I'm like I, I'm not like super precise and clean with my lines. Um, I would, I would like to be, and I, and I've tried to draw like that before. It just, it just doesn't, hasn't felt right for me. And when I started to embrace uh, more of a, a looseness to my, my lines, um, it felt, it felt more natural. Like I said, uh, you know, every I used to do everything traditionally, and then once I got used to like Procreate and uh, the iPad, I just I just never kind of looked back. It, I can crank out things like really fast. Um, you know, most of the most of the drawings that I do every day, uh, or that I post, I, I'm doing them within like an hour or two. You know, like uh, drawn and colored and everything, and then posted. Um, 
just because I, you know, I can, I just do, I do, I draw everything on pretty much one layer. Um, I don't do a lot of like, uh, you know, like a nor, nor, a normal, like traditional way or, uh, a normal process for drawing would be, okay, you, you draw it, then you, you go, you, you lower the opacity and then you kind of go back over it and you, you know, you, you have a, you have a new layer and you just clean up, you clean up your, your, your line work and stuff. Um, I would do that and then all of a sudden I know I started noticing that you know my work would um, my lines got a lot stiffer and it kind of took uh, a little bit of life out of uh, my drawings so I just was like you know the hell with it I'll just uh, I'll just try to do everything um, you know on one layer and um, you know embrace like the the, the gestural kind of like strokes and it just it seems it just works for me I guess I like the way it looks is it worth getting an iPad Pro over a full setup with uh, a PC uh, for me yeah I, I've um, I just I like the I had I I started out with an Intuos um, and you know that's where you have like the drawing pad and you're looking at the screen and you know but you're not looking at the the um the tablet uh and i kind of got used to drawing like that um and then then i like bought a cintiq and i was using that for a while but um you know i didn't like i i would draw on like uh photoshop or whatever and you know, Photoshop is a very powerful tool, um, but I just never really liked it for drawing. I didn't. I, I just. I don't know. I just. I just didn't like it for, for what I was doing. It didn't. It didn't feel right. It, um, for me, like so. What I would end up doing is I would do things like traditionally scan it in the computer and then pretty much only just, um, color in Photoshop, and then. The color process would be um, would take a, take me a lot longer in Photoshop. I don't I don't know why. Um, but when I uh, went to the iPad, uh, I don't know. It just it just worked better. I think you know I just like the tool uh, uh, Procreate, which is you know super affordable. Um, I think I bought it when I bought it, it was only nine bucks. Um, I mean, so so worth it uh, for such like a, a powerful tool, and they they're they've up, updated it a couple times since I bought it. It just it just feels it feels natural to me, or I, I've I've done it so much now. It's it's uh, very uh, it feels very natural now. So I think it's worth it. Um, you know, this is the second generation uh, of the. Um, the iPad and the the pencil, like the uh, they made a big improvement on the the on the pencil. Like the first version, you had to like plug it into the side of the iPad, and it was a pain. It was a pain in the butt. So you would have like uh, to charge the, the the Apple pencil. It'd be hanging off the the side of your iPad through the uh, the charging port, and it almost felt like it was gonna. Uh, break or be knocked off or whatever it's real it was kind of a crappy design so when they they uh updated it now it just hooks onto the side and it and it charges magnetically so um i really like that um but yeah i would i i mean if it's something that you you know if you have if you have the cash or whatever or something that you're interested in trying I, I would recommend it i i like it you know but uh you know it is an investment
His finger's kind of flat. The gun's kind of flat. And a little more depth. Thanks, Keith. Um, E-Man says, uh, it's definitely what draws me to your art. I feel the same way when I'm trying that line art process like you said. I feel like I lose some quality uh, those lines both. Yeah, you know, um, it... I would, uh, you know, there's pluses and minuses. You know, like if I'm drawing something that's uh, really difficult uh, or I... Uh, have not drawn it before or like if I'm doing backgrounds and stuff like I'm placing figures and um, perspective I will definitely you know I'll I'll do the the underdrawn and then lighten it up and then uh, draw over it um, just because there's some things you it's hard for me to just go straight to straight to uh, drawing um, You know, you know, the, the, the real plus to this is that, you know, look how many times I've, I've like kind of erased things and, and went back in and, and, uh, changed things in this and there's no real consequences. You know, I can sit here and pick and pull at this, uh, uh, this drawn for, you know, a while. It's almost like, um, I would say, uh, it's like sculpting. You know, like I, I put in, I put in like, uh, let's say this, the, the line or the, the, the ink, the digital ink here is like clay, you know, I'll put in a little bit of clay and I'll say, okay, I like, you know, how that looks and I'll, I'll move it around. I'll, I'll add to it. Um, I'll smooth it out. So like, um, you know, I'll make a line and then I'll say, I want it to be a little bit sharper or something like that, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, I equate it to like a, a, a push and pull, you know, so I'm gonna color this real quick. So when I color, I'll, I'll, uh, the line art was on one layer. I'll drop a layer below it. I'll, um, do my colors on that, uh, lower layer and like I said, I just I just do it real quick. I mean, before I used to do, uh, it was more of like a traditional, uh, like, you know, I would just flat everything with, uh, you know, I learned where you would take the lasso and you would go around like everything and you would flat, you know, your art or all your sections and then you you drop in color you know and i just i mean it there's nothing wrong with it and and i got i got pretty fast at it i just i just don't do it that way anymore i just throw it in really roughly um uh just to just to get it in you know if i'm outside the line it's not a big deal that that's that's I mean, it's kind of, I guess it's kind of sloppy, you know, but the, the way my lines are, it, it's, um, it's very forgiving, you know? E-Man says, yeah, sculpting is definitely what it looks like watching you. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh it's pretty it's pretty much uh how it feels. Um Yeah, that's what she said. Slapper or not, it makes you work. Yeah, you know, it's um uh, uh an artist better than me said that, you know, your mistakes, uh, your style is all your mistakes, you know? Sorry, I'm just looking something. 
Hi, Bella. change the music now I'm thinking about uh, Marvel vs. Capcom from earlier thanks I, I appreciate that uh, bearded bug um, yeah Like, uh, some of my, uh, like, the people that I like, uh, influences, um, people like Darwin Cook, and, uh, who else is somebody, um, he, he can have, uh, kind of a, a looser style, uh, of drawing, and I, I really like that. too long I'm gonna fix that a little bit what's up Nimbus thank you there you go that's better hey Zim thanks bearded bug yeah take steal everything steal the way I draw still you know so everything you see that I'm doing, I've gotten from other people, you know. That's that's how you that's how you learn. You, know, you take uh, take what you need and leave what you don't. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Yeah, I mean, like, I, I'm always, like, studying uh, artists that I like and, you know, trying to um, Yeah. Um, I try to learn whatever I can from them. You know, some things that uh, work better than others for me and then the things things that I don't use or don't end up uh, liking I you know I fake it let's see So you guys watching anything good lately? You got any, uh, anybody got any animes to recommend? Yes, I did. I did, uh, I did end up, um, checking them out, Nimbus. Um, the one I really liked the most, and I can't think of, uh, can't think of their name right now. Um, it was the, uh. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to go back and let me look at. Uh, I gotta look at which. Um, where was it at? What did I do? Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember their name, but it was. Um, they had a more uh, uh, linear style, um, like a tech 
like a lot of looked like a lot of tech pens and stuff um and the art was very colorful um yeah I, I was really liking that one i think it was one of the it was one of the french ones it wasn't mobius it was somebody else it was uh i can't remember can't remember but i did i was i was checking them out like right afterwards Uh, Zim says he's about to uh, watch the redo of Healer. Huh, I never heard of that one. Watching through Sweet Home. Not an anime, but based on a rad comic. Where's that? Uh, is that on Netflix or what's that on? Oh, One Piece. You know, I've tried to get into One Piece and I just I just never could uh get into it. Like when it first started coming to the United States and playing, I was, you know, um I remember that and I just I tried watching it back then and I just I just never got into it. Um and every now and again I'll be like, "Okay, now I'm going to now I'm going to watch One Piece." You know, cuz uh it's such an epic run. You know, especially like uh, him just getting over, uh, what was it, a thousand, uh, is it a thousand issues? Um, you know, which is super impressive. Oh, you just heard about it two hours ago. You know what I like uh, uh, that I watched uh, last year and I don't, I don't know when it's coming out and I, you know. I think there was a little bit of controversy because there's like some rape and stuff in it. It was a uh, um, Goblin Slayer, um, but I thought it was uh, it was an besides the, the rape and stuff, it was it was pretty good. Yeah, one. Yeah, One Piece, it's it's like one of those uh, shows that just looks like, um, you know, it's just wild. Like, they, they throw, like, all kinds of, like, crazy, like, character designs and stuff out there. And, um, you know, and now that there's so much of it, it's like, it's like almost, uh, it's a daunting task to, to, to try to, like, undertake, you know, at this point. Yeah, it it would. Yeah, exactly. It'd be a lifetime. But you know, maybe maybe when I retire, you know, I'll watch it. I like that. I'm gonna make the gun a little bit. You know what I'm gonna do? I need to change this gun. Hey, Draven. See. I'm gonna shrink this up a little bit. Let's go group it. I'm gonna get a silencer in there. bottom of it I'm totally just making this this gun up uh, the filler is insane sometimes it took a few episodes to get caught up um, yeah Evangelion is awesome I watched yeah I've, I've watched that a few times um, throughout my life uh, I would I would rent the videotapes uh, from the video store back in the day um, and I'd watch it because that was when like, you know, like you would get like anime, anime was just kind of like, uh, becoming a little bit popular or more popular in the United States at that time. Um, or at least, you know, like in the nineties or whatever. So I would, I would like, uh, 
get tapes like Ninja Scroll and um, that Street Fighter movie. Um, yeah, so I, I, I watch this stuff a lot. It, with uh, Evan, Evangelion, I mean, it was like, especially at the time when I was watching it, like I was, um, I was getting stuff on one level. And and I and I I like last year I, I watched a little bit of it uh, on Netflix and like just seeing like the things that I missed as a kid was kind of wild. Yeah, I I uh, I love Gundam. Um, I was uh, again I I watched a lot of uh, I guess it was what would have been Toonami at the time, and I would watch. Uh, Gundam after school. Watched uh, G Gundam and Gundam Wing. You're still on season one. Yeah, I know. You know, like uh, you just think about like all those, all those, uh, all the tentacle porn stuff uh, that used to come out in the '90s, like uh, Wicked City and uh, uh, what was another one? Was it uh, Demon City, Shinjuku, or something? Um, yeah, that that stuff was definitely uh, like pushing a lot of stuff. Like, I think people are too people be too sensitive for that kind of stuff now. Uh, yeah, Toonami was like awesome. Like, I, I'd come home, I'd watch, you know, like Thundercats. Uh, and then when they started releasing um, the uh, the the newer dubs of uh, of Dragon Ball, you know, like they because um, you know back in the day, like they had uh, Dragon Ball was coming over, and they um, they had. St- uh, only dubbed up to like a certain amount. I think it was like 25 episodes and then they had the uh, three movies. I think it was like Tree of Might, uh, uh, World's Strongest and and something else. Uh, and then they didn't have anything for the longest time. And then uh, they started releasing them on, um, you know, the rest of the Frieza saga on, uh, on uh, Cartoon Network. And it was it was awesome. Secret Saturday, yeah. Uh, Vampire Hunter D. That was another one that I, I, I loved watching too. Um, I you know those stylistically, it, um, there was just nothing compared. Like especially the animation, you know, like nothing in the United States came close to that kind of animation. Like so then I, I would I would watch like American cartoons, and I'd be like, man, why can't they make them like you know. Uh, the Japanese stuff. You know, I I love shows like X-Men, but the, you know, I mean, you go back and you look at those, uh, you know, back in the 90s, uh, the X-Men cartoon, you look at that animation now and, and you can really see, like, how poor it was. Thanks, Steven. Thanks, Abdul. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think, uh, even, even Batman, the animated series had, had, it, the animation was, uh, pretty good at times, but they, they still, you know, was nothing near what they were doing in Japan. Let's see, I guess good. I'm almost, I'm almost done with this, guys. Everything goes a little slower when you're talking. <laughs> when I'm running my mouth. Lighten that up a little bit. Yeah, I like Pat Liber too. So I've been going back and trying to uh, catch up with some of those older uh, animes. Um, uh, one that I I, I really liked uh, growing up too was. Uh, um, record of lotus war like i've always been kind of into like um 
the uh, fantasy type animes. Yeah, they really did. Um, I mean, even, you know, right now, uh, you know, especially like even like, um, uh, for me, like comics right now, like I find like manga, like so much more appealing than what they're putting out, like in the United States. Like I used, I used to read, like, I was like weekly, like for so long reading comics, you know, I would, I would have, I have pull list and um, and then uh, uh, along the way, the stories just kind of became like, I don't know. I just, I just wasn't finding an appealing anymore. So then, um, I started reading more manga and the stories are just so diverse and, and different, you know, like, um, the heroes are, are, are like heroic or I don't know. Cause I, I guess I'm really into shonen stuff. Um. But yeah, this is they they got good stuff over there. Yeah, I you know what the the 3D stuff um Yeah, I I would I definitely prefer like the regular like traditional like animation versus that. Um the only 3D one that I have I have liked and I think it's mostly because of um you know the I like I like this, uh, the the story and the the characters is uh, Berserk. Um, I like I was able to get past like the three D version of it. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I told I told totally feel you, Nimbus. All right, almost there. Just gonna throw in some. Weird color in the background, and then we're done. Yep, they can uh, barely make manga about uh, baking cakes. That's how diverse and over. Yeah, I mean they got some crazy. Uh, you know, like uh, Attack on Titan. You know that that was like uh, like kind of a crazy concept. But you know, like it's uh, it's something different. You know. Uh, I've tried traditional uh, canvas painting. I'm just not good at it. Uh, I mean, I could probably l learn. Um, it's just I, I just don't have the time. Yeah. Yeah, they would. Uh, that would be cool. The uh, Thomas Jane and uh, what you call it. Yeah, uh, you know what, I, I didn't even, you know what, now that you've said that, I have, I don't even really, uh, notice it in Demon Slayer, um, the, the 3D, I, I, I love that show, like, I, I had heard about that it was, it was good, um, so I just, like, I, like, binged it, like, uh, within a couple of days, um, and now, now I'm all caught up, and I, and I, and I want some more. Um, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I, it, it must've been all right enough where it didn't even bother me. It didn't really register, you know, cause like a lot of the shows now they're, they're, uh, using it like as, um, like kind of supplemental. So they'll have like backgrounds, uh, in 3d or like cars and things like that. And maybe that's just, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that's to do a, um, you know, make things quicker for them. Thanks, Sim. Yeah, man, take care. Have a good show. 
Oh, okay. You need to stop by and, and shout yourself out. All right, man. You, you you take it easy, Zim. Just smoke in here. Cigarettes. Break that a little bit. You made a cast list that is collage on your. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Like, a, uh, yeah, take it easy, man. Thank you for uh, hanging out. More, more I do it, the easier it's getting. And then I got, I got a great audience uh, tonight. Everybody's like, uh, you know, being pretty active in the chat, and it's allowed me to run my mouth. Take care, man. I appreciate, I appreciate you. Just messing anime we can't shut up yeah see it just tells you like how how uh how cool those the stories are right now and how how creative they are you know can you think of what uh like right now can you think of a comic book that you uh, that um you know that would get you excited like that and you know you can just start talking about I mean, because if there there is one, I want to I want to know because I want to read it. You know, I mean, I'm sure there's some indie stuff out there that I just haven't haven't heard of. Um, and I would say, like at, at this moment, you know, those are um, probably are definitely more interesting to me than than uh, a lot of the mainstream stuff, unfortunately. Um, I've been actually going back and reading a lot of the back issues. Yeah, you love Snake, uh, but the big boss. You know, I, I never really played uh, the Metal Gear games, unfortunately. Oh, uh, 20, 20th century boys is a man we should get on. I will. Um, I'll, I'll look that up. Uh, is that, uh, do you know if that's on, uh, the Shonen Jump or, uh, who is the, the company that produces that? So I got the, I got the, uh, the Shonen Jump app on my, uh, on my iPad and that's usually how I read, read my, uh manga and um you know man talk about a uh it's it's a dollar 99 uh a month or something like that or a week it's like unbelievable like the the price you can't beat it you can read as much as you want but I, i'll check it out i'll look it up if i gotta buy it i'll i'll buy it Favorite anime hand downs Vampire D Bloodlust. The score and the visuals. Yeah. Vampire D is awesome. I like both versions too. I like the uh the older one also. Um 
I remember going to Books a Million and buying the first uh, U.S. Shonen Jump I ever got. Shaman King. Favorite. Uh, I tried to draw those characters. Uh, oh, that's cool, Nimbus. I, I'm gonna uh, actually. You know, that's not the first time I've heard that, uh, heard that one. Um, I think, uh, on, uh, 11 o'clock comics, uh, Vince was talking about that, uh, that book one time. I like the art. I'm looking at it right now. Looks kind of, looks cool. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check that out. Oh wow, that's expensive. Man, I'm I'm looking at I'm looking at Amazon and they got a, uh, a volume one. They don't have it in stock on this one, so I'm gonna have to. Man, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm definitely gonna get it. God, I want to go lighter. Just kind of pop some things out. And that's that's it. That's it. Um, I still love Transformers movie. Um, yeah, I, I would. I mean, you know, like all the animation was probably produced and, uh, you know, by all the same, uh, uh, I mean, all the same companies that did anime back then anyway. So, yeah, I would. Um, thanks, Chris. All right. Well, guys, uh, I didn't get to the, I didn't get to draw Scooby-Doo tonight. I'll try, uh, um, which I uh, maybe I'll do next time. I'll draw like a Scooby Doo or whatever. Thanks, I appreciate that. Thanks, Chris. Um, so um, again, I'm gonna try to uh, get back on tomorrow night. Uh, probably about the same time, uh, about seven o'clock uh, Chicago time. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys for hanging out tonight, and you know all the good questions and the good conversation. Like again, like I said, it, it like makes things like so much easier for me uh talking to you guys so but all right thanks again guys uh i'll i'll try to i'm gonna post the uh the video um on youtube so that if you guys want to rewatch, and i'll also post it uh you know i'll save it on uh igtv so oh, i'm sorry man uh like i said i'm gonna po i'm gonna post the video uh yeah, try to catch me tomorrow. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.